Hello and welcome to your seven day campaign on accelerating your business growth for 2020. Now I created this campaign because I have been getting so many messages from pharmacists, from other professionals who are really wanting to accelerate to the next level of income and impact, but they just don't know where to start. And maybe you can relate. So maybe you have this big vision, you want to write books or you want to be a speaker or launch a coaching business, but you just don't know where to begin. Maybe you've listened to podcasts, you've read different books, you've seen a lot of strategies around making quantum leaps on Facebook. There's so much out there and it's often overwhelming to really get bombarded with all of these different strategies. So throughout these seven days of videos, I am really going to be distilling down everything that I've learned over the past several years, the best tips, tools, tricks that are really going to help you move the needle for your business in 2020. So as we start off, I want to just say I'm so grateful to have you here. And I know that if you are here, you're really wanting to make a bigger impact in your business, whatever that is. If you are working with a product or a service, I know that you are really drawn here to not only make more income, but to accelerate your impact and to expand that. So I just want to say I am so grateful that you're here. And today's video, I really want to talk about how I shifted from being a pharmacist and quitting my job in April to hitting six figures this year in about six to seven months. So I was a pharmacist working in a corporate structure. I was working 12 hour days. I was feeling really burnt out because as pharmacists, we don't get breaks. We are constantly on the move, answering doctor calls, helping patients, doing everything to really be of highest service for the people that are our clients, our patients. And so I became extremely burnt out and I realized that the corporate model is not a sustainable job to have for someone to really have long term. So I lasted about eight months in that corporate structure as a pharmacist. And I've had plenty of other independent pharmacy jobs that I felt were a little bit more flexible, but I still wasn't completely fulfilled. So it was that burnout piece of just feeling frustrated and like I wasn't being treated like a human being, along with the fact that I know in my heart that I'm meant to make a bigger impact. So if you are watching this and you're like, yes, that totally makes sense. I feel that too. You're in the right place. And I want you to know that it is completely possible for you to leave that job or even have a bridge where you are working part-time in whatever your job is right now and also be able to build a coaching business on the side. So I really want to encourage you, you are in the right place because if I can do it, anybody can do it. So how did I do it? You're probably asking, all right, well, like what was that path for you? So around March of 2019, so literally just eight months ago, I got a, an email from a coach in the local area and she was saying how her client had turned down a six figure income. So of course that piqued my interest. So I answered, replied back. I got on the phone with her that day and hired her as my coach. Now here's the thing. I was very scared to hire this coach because it was a huge investment. So I invested $18,000 with this coach over an eight month period. And so for me, I had never spent that much money to invest in my business before. I had done a couple of different strategies, online programs, but nothing that was personalized for me and that really helped me maintain a structure for my unique business and find my zone of genius. And that's what we're, we'll be talking about in the next video of really what those needle movers were for my business. But back to the story, I really had to stretch my comfort zone and I trusted that this coach could really help me get there. And so all of this content, the things that I'm going to be sharing with you are my best kept secrets from some of the things that I learned from that coach and just everything that I've experienced this past year and seen, you know, the different mistakes that I've made, 
what the needle movers were, all of that stuff, we're really going to be distilling that down and I'm gonna be giving it to you in a super digestible format. So I hired that coach. She helped me tremendously. We'll talk about that in the next video. I went to a retreat in September with a different coach. We did a lot of deep transformation work and I really started to see movement after that happened. So I hit a few 10K months, um, you know, in your first year of business, you know, if you're really stretching your comfort zone, you're gonna see peaks and troughs. Some months are really high, some are a little bit lower, but I really had that solid foundation where I was able to create processes and have things in place so that I could consistently draw in clients and also make a huge impact in a way that I had never done before. So it was so exciting for me because I had been a pharmacist for so many years and really just struggled to find meaning and purpose in having to work those long hours and not having time with my patients. And now this year I was finally able to really make that happen for myself. And I think the biggest thing that I learned was in order to really make a quantum leap in your business, you need to be taking action steps that scare your current comfort zone. Because if we're staying in the same place and we're keeping small, there's no way that we can expand into the next level. So I really want to encourage you this week to actually take out a piece of paper and I want you to take an inventory of everything that has gone on for you in the past year. I want you to look, take a, a look at your business. Maybe you haven't even started a business yet, but you, it's in your head and you have these ideas. I want you to take out a piece of paper and write out where am I now in my business? And I want you to really take a cold, hard look at where you've been playing small, where you've been delaying any part of your vision, where you've been getting caught in procrastination, or maybe you're getting distracted on Facebook. I want you to write down what is that vision that you have for 2020? What's been getting in the way? because that's gonna be really paramount for you to see, okay, where is it that I wanna be and what's holding me back right now? And that's gonna help you along this path. Just really get clarity in this first video around, okay, where am I really playing small and where can I stretch myself into 2020 and really expand my vision? That's really what I'd like you to do. And your next step to actually get the rest of these videos is to go onto the Facebook group, which all of you have been invited to, the Accelerate Launch Off 2020 Facebook group. And you're going to post, I'm so excited for day two to accelerate and launch off my business in 2020. Once you post that, you will get your next steps and I can't wait to see you on day two.